Right. What do we got? Well, well, there's a story. Hi, well, you folks. Welcome back to the channel. This dimly lit view can only mean one thing, and the traffic lights are on. Old mate and I heading out again for another two day adventure. This time out to the northwest, thereabouts of uh, New South Wales. The dirt will be a little red and the ground will be alive. But you know what? I think it might even be raining too, but that won't frighten us. Anyway, we'll give you uh, a bit more of an update after we have a mmm -hmm. on the road. What sort of idiot gets up at this time of the morning? Well, I'm sitting next to him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we might have multiple spot X's uh, today, folks, because we're going to go back out and go over uh, uh, an old trip that we planned a while ago, and uh, we didn't get too many uh, chances to have a dig on them because the grass was too high. So we're hoping that bit of a dry spell flatten things down a bit out there in the foreground of spot x we think that might be sorghum sticking its rusty whole old head up out of the uh, cricket uh, field not quite sure but as we swing around you can see the remnants here of the other part of the uh, recreation ground and uh, you can see a couple of the old outhouses there. And over there is the uh, old tennis court. So we're just going to give this area in here a bit of a going over. Because there's a uh, swinging room for the coils. I'll just... Uh... Hey, yeah. Look at hey. what I found. How are you? Mate, what do you think? Yeah, interesting. We'll get a go. We might even do a little bit of the oval, but... Might be a bit tough. Yeah. All right, well, this is uh, the first of probably two or three sites we might go to if we have no luck here for the whole day. Yep. It's still daylight savings here in Australia, so we're going to get ourselves uh, a full day in and maybe one or two eps if we're lucky. So anyway, we'll uh, see you on the first hole. What about wager? Oh, yeah, wager. We're going for the uh, oldest coin today. Oldest coin. On this particular uh, oval, anyway, at least the oh, oldest coin. Old today. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. This episode. Oh. Yeah, this episode. <laughs> Got that clear. All right. Well, we'll see you on the first hole, definitely. Okay. All right, folks. First shovel full out. She's in the spoil. Rusty old seventies to nineties signal. Let's get in and get her out. Oh boy, this ground's hard. This is hard. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Did you see that? Right there. I think that's a high revving. Oh, that's a roof penny. No wonder it was uh, 1953. So. Yeah, that's why it was high 70s to 80s, touching 90s. All right, first one of the day, 1950, 1953. A little beauty, we'll get you a pick. Well, it's been hard digging. I still haven't found a coin. Tommy's off the mark, he got a penny. I don't know what he's got now, but he had a 1953 penny. But I've just dug a cool relic. Check this out. Look at that. See that? It's all hurricane lamp. Look at it. In bits. I even got a mantle still. Look at that. Useless to mantle beast now, but it's still cool. It's a relic. Got a couple of better ones at home, but. That old handle for trimming the wick. Cool. At least it's something. Hi right, folks, we've got ourselves that signal coming out of the plug hole.
Have a look at the dirt here, folks. It's just like concrete. There you go. Yeah. Here we go, yes. 1917 Huffman. This one's in a little bit better, Nick. Yeah, that might deserve a real clean. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I know it's seen better days, like this place, but anyway, we'll take whatever we can get. All right, get your pick. Still mucking around in the old cricket field here. There were signs of habitation over in that bit. Bits of rubbish and that's where I found that um, hurricane lamp. But I've just dug out like a 12 to 14 signal on the 900, look. Cufflink, look at that. Don't know how old they are. From that design is pretty old. So I think they're, they're copper. But that's cool, that's another relic. Don't mind that at all. Nice, I'll get you a pick. Alright folks, we're inside the tennis court. <laughs> All that remains of it. And just down here, we have this. Let's go and see if we can get it out. There's a double jump in there, so it possibly could be two coins. 60 odd. Oh, there you go. Yes, you little beauty. It's, ooh, ooh, folks, I've got the first uh, English one. Oh, mate, 1910, it's an Eddie. A little bit scarcer out here, folks. Yep, 1910, last Edward Seven of the UK. I'll give that a bit of a clean up and we'll get you picked. Right up. Right up, folks. There's your last hole. Clear as a bell, 72.73. This could be either a one cent or another penny. Not sure yet. Right, let's get it out together. She's in the very hard baked pudding. Boy, this is just ridiculous. This soil out here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, a bit of gravel in there, and that'll be concrete for sure. Get the pin pointer. Hang on. Yep, there he is. I can see the edge. Can you? And it's it's a call me penny. And it's 1935. All right, we'll clean this fella up. That's better. 1935. They're coming out of here reasonable now, but one side's good and the other side's bad. Look at that. Definitely seen better days. Hello, so we've uh, finally met up again. We're in uh, one of the uh, tennis courts. Oh, there oh, it is. That's not a 66, that's not a silver. If that doesn't spike your interest, I don't know. Have a look at that bad boy. <laughs> I've got one too. Last hole I got that. <laughs> right old mate, oh. it's half time, we're giving this two hours, and uh, how have you gone? You didn't tell me you had a British one. What? Yeah I did. No you didn't. I said I got an Eddie. No you didn't, you oh. said you had a 1917, that was the last you told me. No oh, mate, well I'm sure I you mentioned cheat. I got an Eddie. Oh, not to me you didn't. It's the last Eddie. Oh that's my booty, look at that. Oh mate. So, a couple, a spike, yeah. a couple of valve stems, right? 
and a bit of old lamp in it. Oh, mate, you've been going real well. Yeah, great. Is that the expensive bottle? No. What's that's that the thing? expensive bottle. That's just an um, air freshener bottle. All right. But it's good. Okay. What else you got in there? Cufflink. Oh, look at that, yeah. That's a good little find, that thing, folks. Look at the fancy on it. That's the other end of it. Yeah, very nice. We'll put that on the uh, board there to get a look at. That's and a sweet. couple of uh, yeah. brownies. That's it. All right, mate. Well, slow old morning. You haven't got much to say for yourself. No. I'm out of form. Badly oh. out of form. But you know, I, what, you, should, you, know what, you know what they say? Should I say Should I say the word slump? <laughs> <laughs> you could say slump if you want slump. But All just right. remember, just remember, form is temporary, but class is permanent. Mm. Wisdom. Let me have a look at this classy board here. <laughs> there you go, folks. A 1910 last eddy here in Australia. 1917 half penny. 1935 George penny. And a 1952 or 53 brew penny. So that's all we've got for the first couple of hours. We're going to head off onto the uh, next little site and see what else we can uh, uncover. So we might have a bit of lunch beforehand. That's a good one. And we'll see ya. Righto, folks, do your slip slop slapping. Now, mate, you've got to get out of this form slump mm. and find something. I now, know. It took us uh, a couple of tracker dogs, a few <laughs> cut lunches, but we've finally found spot X number two. There's an old abandoned uh, wreck hall. Have a look at this, folks. And out there in the foreground, Right there where that lighter green stuff is, where the top of the pointing finger is, is where the cricket pitch is. So we're going to go out there. The grass is a little uh, less chaotic than just here. And uh, we're going to give this a going over. Hopefully, uh, if nothing appears within an hour or two, we might go on to another spot. But yeah, we're hopeful. And uh, dig is down four, but no one's keeping account. He 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 he. That's it. We're looking uh, for Victoria, but if we Eddie's, can find her. Yeah, Eddie's going to be hard to beat. All right, that's the deal, folks. I'll see you on the first hole. It's around about... Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock, and it's around 30 degrees out here. We're in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, yeah, more red dirt country. So, uh, we'll see you on the first hole. Okay, folks, we have this signal. middle of the non-ferrous line. Now, I wonder if you can see it. Come with me. Look right here. Right there, look. Right there. It's a half penny, folks. And it's a George 6. Alright, so that's between 30... 37, 38, and 52. So we can reveal the date. I think it's 19, 1948, folks. I'll clean it up and we'll get it back. Okay, finally got a signal to dig. It was a 82 in the 82 in the ground and then flipped it over. It was a 60. But what we got is a badge. Look at that. You see that? Let's try and have a look. Badge. Cleaned up and see what we got. I don't know if it's really, what is it? Looks like it's a religious one. Hat badge by the look of it. Sorry. Can't see what's on it. Can't tell, can't read it. See if I can identify it and I'll come back to you. 
Okay, so what it is, is a return from active service badge. How cool is that? That's a rising sun with a crown. And it says down the bottom, return from active service. So I'm assuming that this was given to men who came, who came back and while the fighting was still going on so that they didn't have to explain themselves. I'll check that out, but that's really cool. That's one of the coolest things I've found for a long time. How about that, eh? That is fantastic. I was thinking before I hadn't found I've only ever found two rising sun badges and then this one pops up. That's very cool. I'll get a picture of that. Big nodding. Be nice if it was a little oh mate, make our day. They've been very elusive today so far. Everything's been elusive for some people. No, that badge is really cool. It's all over the place anywhere from 60 to 90, I don't like that. Soil though, it's a bit. It's out, whatever it is. 58, 59. Alright, let's get it out. Oh, yeah, I can see an edge right yeah. there. Yeah, you want to get it? Yeah. Hey, me. Mmm, I think it's a Lizzie. I don't know. That doesn't make sense, it's too low, isn't it? No, it's not. Some of them ring really low and some of them ring really high. Oh, it chance. might be right, it might be a Lizzie, which means it would be widely ringing low. Maybe, I don't know. Unless it's a Vicky, of course. No, it's not a Vicky. Hey? It's not a Vicky. How do you know? Oh, it's not a Vicky. Could be. It's a Commie. Oh, Commie? So what's it got? Oh, can't be, so it can't win. <laughs> oh, no! Commie's got to be 1911 at the moat, at the earliest. Uh, half penny. Nineteen thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, Nineteen seventeen. Sorry. Okay. Give me a little bit well, more juice. At least I found. At least I got one. You've broken the drought, mate. Give well, us a bit more juice. Does one? Does one rain? Rain school make a break a drought? I don't think so. Get a photo. Happy Jen! I'm getting there. <laughs> Righto folks, I think we can uh, put this spot to bed. It's too overgrown unless some uh, cattle get in on here and uh, munch it down. But there's my find. It's a 1948 King George the sixth halfpenny. Over here, bigger. Oh, no, this is my bit of junk. Not a lot. Most of that was in the last five minutes. But this is pretty cool. I finally found a pre-decimal. Don't know if that's focusing. I can't tell. Yeah, it's, it's too bright. But that's mine. That's the favourite one. That's mine. I like that. The yeah, that's a good badge. Turns return. Serviceman's badge. Love it. Absolutely love it. I wouldn't mind giving a brush, but yeah. Found out cool. in the wild. Yeah, so next spot, plan C. Right, we're on to spot X3. We're going to bid uh, adieu to this place. Very hard yards, folks. The time check now is half past two, so the next place should be three, and we might stay there till stumps if uh, it's worthy of it. So we'll see you there very shortly. Well, folks, we found spot X number three. Opening the gate. There she is over there. All right. It's closing the gate. You know the deal, folks. Shut the gate, mate. All right. We're on our way. Over there. See you soon. Bye, folks. 
time check is 10 past 3. We're at the back of the shed. There's plenty of uh, oval here to work. I'm thinking there's got to be at least a good 10 acres in here. And down that way, there's a cricket pitch somewhere. So we're going to do a little bit of a walk around here, see what we can come up with. And then uh, we'll go towards the pitch, do a key test, eh? All right, we'll see you on the first one. All right, folks, barely walked 10 metres from the ute. 58, 60 signal, I think I can see it. It looks like some sort of this. Ah, look at that, it's an old key latch escutcheon. There you go, that's a nice old relic. Looks like it's uh, a big skeleton key hole cover. Ah, it's beauty. Okay, 58, 59 signal in the spoil. Oh no, I forgot my knee pads. Yes, 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 yes. What do we got? Same new size. Really light though. Hang on, get rid of the pinpointer and see if I got some. Put some water on it. Let's see what we got. I reckon we got a halfpenny, but. It's so crudded out. Oh, dropped it. I have to do some work on this. Can't see what it is. But I'm guessing that's a halfpenny that's trashed out. See what I can find. So, what do you got? What do we got? Well, well, there's a story involved. Turns out it's a Queen Victoria. That sort of helps with the dating, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Edward's 1910. Yeah. Queen Victoria died in 1901. Yeah. So what do we what do we it's work out? 1878. 1878. It's 1878 halfpenny, mate. Mate, do I see Happy Jan showing? Uh, I feel a bit better than I did before. <laughs> Good one, mate. Yeah. What a place to find it out here in the middle of nowhere. Seriously, you suck. <laughs> There we go, folks. Finally found the pitch. Man. It's as hard as. Look at this. Little spiky melons are growing on it. The sheep have been here. And there's the shed, and the ute's behind the shed. Only took us a while to find it, so, uh, yeah. Diggers pulled himself a good 17, 78 halfpence, which is the challenge for the day now to beat. I don't think I'll do it. Right on, last one of the day, I reckon. What have we got there? Oh, look at that, folks. There, it's a George, George six. 6. Here you go. Oh, she's filthy. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not interested. Well, you've given up. 47. 1947. Clean as a whistle. Look at that. All right, then we'll get you a pick. That rings here very well. Well, folks, it's that time again in the evening. It's around about 10 to 5. We're not calling it quits just yet, but this is just someone's in case. Not, someone's not because he's behind. That's it. <laughs> so, here we go. Some of the crud. Boy, these things ring up like. And in a paddock that hasn't got much going for it, they sound fantastic. The old uh, shoddy. That key escutcheon. That was nice. There's... Uh, the coins for the day. I was leading all the way with uh, King Eddie, 1910. But old mate. Just the violin going. I, I think I might even hear that crow. <laughs> Here we go, mate. Give us your best. Oh, no. It's just 
modest, sort of, you know how I am. <laughs> Don't like to skite a yeah, lot. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I got a few tight rings myself this time. So that crud's from this pl this place here and last, I guess, what, hour and a half, two hours. For my day there, the coins I had earlier, Cufflink, Anzac badge, love that. That Commonwealth penny, Commonwealth hate me. And then I just managed to pull a couple out of here. So, Ooh. 1847 and then a... Queen Victoria, 1878. Which, by my reckoning, beats her Eddie. <laughs> Looks like I'll be uh, lining up again tomorrow morning and shouting. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> That's the worst of it out of the road. Look, there's the sun. We're heading west out over there, and it's a long way out west here, let me tell you, friends. So, as you can see just here, the shadow people aren't too bad. So that means it's Hooray. from you. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Mate, you're choking on that, aren't you? <laughs> and it's Hooray for me. See you on the next one.